Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Two human rights groups have released major new reports on how U.S. drone strikes kill civilians in Yemen and Pakistan. Amnesty International focused on Pakistan, where it says some drone killings may amount to war crimes. The group reviewed 45 drone strikes that have occurred in North Waziristan since January 2012. It found at least 19 civilians were killed in just two of those strikes, despite claims by the Obama administration it's accurately targeting militants. In one case, a 68-year-old grandmother, Manama Baby, was killed in a strike that appeared to be aimed directly at her. She was picking okra while surrounded by her grandchildren when she was blasted to pieces. Her son and granddaughters described the attack. The children were also with her. She was hit in the first attack, and her body parts were lying scattered. First it whistled, then I heard a dum. The first hit us, and the second my cousin. There was an explosion. We were scared, and I ran home. It was dark in front of our house. They brought me to the doctor in the village, who gave me first aid. I was not scared before, but now, when the drone is flying, I'm scared of it. Amnesty International reports three months before that attack, 18 laborers, including a 14-year-old boy, were killed by multiple strikes as they were about to eat their evening meal. While official claims called the victims terrorists, Amnesty found they were not involved in fighting. Amnesty also documented cases of rescuer attacks, where those rushing to the aid of drone victims are targeted by a second strike. Amnesty's Pakistan researcher, Mustafa Qadri, said drones have terrified the Pakistani people. At the end of the day, when we researched these cases, we found people were fearful of the U.S. the way they're fearful of the Taliban. That really is a great tragedy. You know, what's really important is that we don't forget human rights when we're trying to protect our societies. People have told us, you know, they're taking sleeping tablets at night. They don't know when they're going to be targeted, if they'll be targeted, why they'll be targeted. That really is a shocking situation. In a second report released today, Human Rights Watch reviewed six U.S. attacks in Yemen that killed 82 people, at least 57 of them civilians. They include a drone-assisted attack that unlawfully struck a passenger van in 2012, killing 12 civilians. The target was nowhere near the vehicle. A farmer told Human Rights Watch the strike killed his father, mother and 10-year-old sister. Quote, their bodies were charred like coal. I could not recognize their faces, he said. Human Rights Watch also reviewed the 2009 U.S. cruise missile strike in the village of al Majla that killed more than 40 civilians, most of them women and children, and another attack last year that killed a cleric who preached against al-Qaeda, as well as his cousin and a police officer. Human Rights Watch said strikes against civilians have violated international law and sparked a backlash that undermines the campaign against al-Qaeda. Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch called on the Obama administration to reveal its full legal rationale for the strikes and investigate the killings detailed in their report.